I am the changes that made me. I am my fears and my strengths. I am my joys and my sadness. I am the step backward I needed to take so I can move forward for the rest of my life. I am. So, Will You Think of Me Later came out because uh, I was me opening up for the first time. This whole album was a journey of me finally figuring out I can do this for myself, and it was exhilarating. That was the point where I, I realized being vulnerable can only help me, really. It was just me trying to be very honest, and sheltering these emotions are just gonna end up just crushing me anyway. I'm the fine line between trying to help and connect with someone's emotions. I'm the perspective of you that understands the feeling. And for that moment, I am you. I am. So a particular mood is actually one of my personal favorites of the album. I was learning to empathize more and more in the last couple of years and one of my closest friends actually confided in me a bunch of things and he was just telling me about a situation that was going on in his life. I had a song in my head that I could write from his perspective. Putting myself in his shoes and kind of being vulnerable also opened up this whole side of empathy for me. That just triggered this beautiful song, a particular mood. I'm the rebirth of myself. I'm the second breath that's pushing me to go the distance, to go further. I'm my own muse, a new control over myself. I'm the inspiration that keeps me going. I am. Baby, I know you. So the song Will You Think of Me Later started off as a dream that kept occurring where I found myself running but at a slower pace than what I could actually run at. And this was the song that came to me where I finally realized that I was running at the speed I wanted to run. Essentially it was me being more comfortable in my own skin. This was the song that connected the entire album together.